Hey guys, um, I'm gonna try, I'm redoing this video for the second time. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, I wasn't too half satisfied with the first video I did, so I'm gonna try again. This video is about losing your job. Well, it's about me losing my job. It's my experience. Uh, I lost a job that I was at in 2014. I was there for seven, eight years as a pharmacy tech in a hospital, and I was completely comfortable, you know, um, I wasn't taking the job as serious and it was a good job and um, you know I ended up losing that job because of time and attendance mostly and you know my inventory stuff and even though there was other people getting away with what I was doing you know I accept responsibility for what I did you know so um, you know one day I got called into the office and I was pretty much forced to resign well they gave me the option to resign. If I didn't resign, I was going to get fired. So I resigned. Um, you know, and I had just, I was going through a lot of stuff. Like I lost, um, I lost a best friend of mine. And he, uh, his name is Kenny. He came to the hospital for sickle cell. The hospital that I worked at. And he died. And I was there and I saw him die. Um, and then my dad passed away too while I was working there. So, I mean, not that it's an excuse to act out and all this stuff, but, you know, I just, I went through a lot of stuff at that job. Um, you know, so they forced me to resign, um, you know, and I had to write a little uh, letter, I resigned, and I remember that day when I left, I was thinking like it was the end of the world, like I was just freaking out. I even cried a little bit, I didn't even tell my mom for like a week, you know, that I lost my job. And this job was like 10 minutes from my house. Like it was really close to my house. You know, I saved a lot on gas. Um, I was one of the top techs over there. Like I was in a pretty high position. Did chemo, IVs, peas. Like I knew everything. I did everything over there. <clears throat> um, so I, like I basically hit rock bottom, you know, and I was, I was kind of depressed and I was down and, you know, um, it was definitely like a life lesson. And you know, I did a lot of research like online, looking up and a lot of people lose their job. It's a common thing. I've just never been without a job since I started working. I've always been the kind of person that like I have to work, I have to earn money, and you know, I don't I don't like sitting idly. So, you know, I hit rock bottom. I don't know what I was gonna do. Uh, they all my va at least I got my vacation pay when I got let go. So like that helped me over for a couple months. I was living at my mom's, but I still had to pay her money every month. So um, that's just to say that you know that bad event in my life actually led to like some really good things in my life. Like the best years so far in my life, 2016 has been the best year. I got let go in 2014. I resigned and like three or four months later I got another job at another hospital and um, you know it was tough starting at the hospital because I'm start I started from the bottom again and I didn't know anybody but a lot of times when you get thrown on your feet or on your ass and uh, you're in an uncomfortable position and it makes you you know it makes you when you're comfortable you just get lax and then you're thrown back into that you don't know what's gonna happen, and it, sometimes it brings like the best out of you. I think. Not only that, I got I, I, like three, four months after I lost the job, I got, I got a new job. Then I I'm still having the same car. I get into a car accident with that car. It wasn't my fault. The guy behind hit like three of us or whatever. I get into an accident, and I think this is the worst thing ever. I'm like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? I'm in an accident, you know. You know, I just, I was freaked out. I'm like, why are all these bad things happening to me? But out of that accident, I ended up getting a new car. Like, my car was deemed like a total, as a total loss. I, I've learned about all this stuff. My car was deemed as a total loss, which means that they pretty much give you the value for your car. My car was in, even though the, like, the car was in, like, not great, it was still in good condition. Like, so I got a pretty decent value for that. I took the money that I got for the car and I used it as a down payment to another car at least another car i got a corolla so i got a brand new car 2016 um that lease my credit was horrible my credit was like 540 520 something like that um me leasing the car me getting a secured credit card putting money down um 
me opening a savings account, all that stuff, I was starting to get like better financially, led to me getting better credit. Like now in 2016, I have six, my score is 650, which is, is decent. It's not like amazing. You know, my goal is to get to 700 after 700 then 750. But it, from where I was in 2014, five something to 650, it's a big improvement. And now I'm getting credit card offers in the mail. Like I'm getting all this stuff. So I got a brand new car, 2016. I got a girl, like a good woman, girlfriend. We have a newborn baby. Um, we have a new apartment, a two, two, two bedroom, two bathroom in a nice area, you know. Um, I have a decent job, you know. I work great vert shift and I work seven on seven off. So every other week I'm off for seven days. You know, I'm less stressed, uh, I'm more happy. And now, you know, I wanna go back to school for computers and I'm gonna start doing these videos now as a project, you know, and life for me has changed around. And I've learned that, you know, like in the state online, like a lot of the, the most successful people have failed like a bunch of times. There's even, I think Thomas Edison said, um, he has a quote, he said, I I didn't fail, I only found a thousand ways that didn't work, or something like that. I haven't failed, I only found a thousand ways that didn't work. You know, so I think to be successful is, it's not about falling, it's about getting back up each time and trying something different. And I think also it's about getting out of your comfort zone and try like this for me right now doing this video is out of my comfort zone. You know, and a lot of times I have to do these videos alone because I feel awkward when I do them around people. So I'm going to start trying to do them around people. But like, this is just my experience. Maybe you guys have some experience about losing a job and thinking it's the end of the world for you. And then if, if it wasn't for me losing that job, I probably wouldn't have a brand new car right now. I would, my, probably wouldn't have improved my credit. I wouldn't have moved out of my mom's house. Been with a, a great woman that I am with now. A, uh... A, a newborn baby, a healthy baby, um, you know, and there was other struggles that I'm not going to mention on here that I was going through that I was able to overcome, you know, and um, also going to church, believing in God and reading the Bible has also helped me also to become a stronger, better person. So, um, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Just if you lost your job, if you lost your job now, don't give up, get back up, put applications out, you know, um, don't give up, be strong, you know, and it's okay to fall. It's okay to make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. I I, <laughs> I screw up all the time. I break things all the time. I break all the cups in this house. Not that that's relevant, but <laughs> um, so just stay strong. Don't give up. You know, this is my video and there's, you know, People are, a lot of people around are going through the same problems, the same issues. A lot of people have lost their jobs. It doesn't mean you're a failure. It doesn't mean it's the end of the world. You just become a better, stronger person. And uh, I'm grateful for the job that I have now. I'm grateful for the family that I have now. And I'm grateful for the mistakes that I've made and that I've fallen and gotten back up. So if you like this video, hit like. Um, please subscribe if you can. I appreciate it. Um, I, I'm making a couple videos. I haven't uploaded them yet because I'm just trying to monetize my channel. I did monetize it, but I'm waiting for it to link so I can get ads, so I can see if I can try to make money off of this. So I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Be safe. Bye.